You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Uh, I'm sorry, you're out of food? A whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tails, and mementos for barter. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my lot of two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. Now, I already set him straight. Uh, yeah, I took care of it. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks? I would have preferred thanks have a sandwich, but thanks will do. What do you have? He has health poultices. He's my favorite man. Uh, is there any work around town? Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I may or may not have done such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Ah. Uh, uh, any idea where I could get ingredients? Well, there's herbs in the north wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. Okay. Uh, fair enough. A poisonous proposition, so we could make poisons for the man who needs poisons. Don't ask why the restaurateur wants poisons. It's not going to go well for you. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. It sounds there bad. There's nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. Okay, bud. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can't you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Buddy. Buddy, you and your axe, whose texture obviously hasn't loaded, need to calm the fuck down. I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Okay. Calm down, buddy. Calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, how'd you get out of there, though? I... I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Oh. Um. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's just say sorry. That's probably the most sympathetic thing. Why am I here? I still know how to go. <laughs> He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. No, nah, there's totally hope. Uh, muster your courage or something. Persuade check. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. Oh. Okay. I thought that was a suggestion, but no, that's... Feast on your living heart! They will take your children! I thought we calmed him down. Didn't we calm him down? Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Hmm. Buddy, are you okay? It's good to see you again, Sister Leliana. Thank you, Sir Maron. Oh, uh, you're a different guy. Hey, do you know there are bandits outside? Yes, but we can barely keep order in the village right now. We have no men to chase down bandits. Interesting. Uh, what if I made them go away? Right, you can speak to Sir Bryant, but I doubt he'll tell you differently. Okay. Uh, who's in charge? The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Good to know. Why do you have such long pauses at the end of your dialogue? 
Also, uh, what's with the guy in the box? Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Hold on. Hold on. You're... P you put a man in a cage and left him there to dot. I thought Morgan was being, you know, aggressive. But no, you just put a man in a cage and left him there to die. That's awful. Now, granted, the man did murder eight people, but also that's awful. <sighs> Have you heard any news? Not since Teon Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. All right, fine. Make her watch over you. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Hi there, Sir Bryant. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? Uh, my name's Goog, and who I'm with is a matter of some political instability. So right now, my name's Goog. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? No. But what if I were? I'd tell you what I told the others. Nothing here will assist your quest. The urn of sacred ashes is a myth. Go on. A mythical relic of Andraste. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Fair enough. Uh, things seem shitty here. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, you can help me. Okay, fine, I'm a Grey Warden. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Are you on Logan's side? Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Yeah, I'm just kind of hoping that you're not actually gonna listen. <laughs> I've heard the rumors. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. Uh -huh. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Okay, well, thank you for not actively killing me, I guess. Uh, are you in charge? Is there any other... Uh, you know there are bandits outside, right? Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Uh, I demand compensation. Nope. Uh, hey, I could do that. No need. I will have it dealt with. Again. Savaral, those fool bandits have returned. Take some men and drive them off and see if you can't capture that leader of theirs this time. As you command, Sir Bryant. Okay. Now, unless there's something else you need. I mean, I took their money and then ratted them out to the magic cops. So, uh, that's all I can do for those bandits, I guess. D give me some info. If the matter is important, certainly. Uh, are you in charge? Uh, you know there's a dude in a cage, right? I was there at the farm hold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. Okay, hold on. Hold on. First off, this dude thinks that putting a dude in a cage and waiting for him to just die is more merciful than chopping a dude's head off and making him dead in a second. Which is an interesting choice. Second, he's, apparent, he's apparently just blindly racist against the Kunari, which would make us more sympathetic to Sten, except for the whole he murdered eight people, some of whom were children thing, which seems like a big deal. So about the man who murdered eight people, including some of them being children who was locked up in a cage outside of town, um, can we have him? You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. Yeah, but I want him. For reasons. Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster 
piled on disaster. How does that work? Wait, so you've got a king and a queen. And let's just assume, because patriarchy, it's not like equal power arrangement. It's like, no, he's the king and she's married to him, so she gets to be called the queen, but she's not actually the queen. Yeah, isn't there, a, isn't there an heir? None that we know of. Oh. Jan Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. Yeah. He may be a hero and his daughter may be queen, but yeah. he is a commoner. And the king's corpse is barely cold. I mean... If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. There's gotta do be... I not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Man's got a point. But also, there's gotta be, like, lineage, right? Like, okay, so if the king dies, right, and the king doesn't have a kid, then you go back up the line, right, to the last king. And the last king is like, okay, uh, well, my kid's dead, so it goes to my next kid. So didn't didn't King Caelan have a brother? And if King Caelan didn't have any brothers, did King Caelan have any uncles? Because I think, I think with King Caelan dead, if King Caelan had no brothers, then uh, King Caelan dad, his it goes above King Caelan dad to King Caelan granddad, and if King Caelan granddad had another son, then. How is, how is it just a question of who the fucking king is if the fucking king doesn't have an heir? Don't you write this shit down? I know it's fantasy times, and the real answer is whoever controls the army gets to be king because, you know, bigger army diplomacy and all that. But don't you at least write this shit down? Don't you know at any given moment who has the next legitimate claim to the throne should make or forbid something happen to the king? This feels particularly important when you know that the king is riding out to battle. It's not like he was sitting in his castle and he got stabbed in the neck. It's not like he got poisoned. He was killed in war by the enemy with whom you were at war. And nobody had the thought to maybe figure out who would become king in the unlikely event that the king should fucking die. <sighs> I got very worked up about that. We should know who the fucking legitimate king is. I feel like that matters. <sighs> Apparently you said that something's wrong with Arl Eamon. Aside from him going on a wild goose chase, what's wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill. Oh, great. His knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes. Said to cure any malady. I see. They must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. Fuck. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies. While yeah, you've mentioned never that. Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Yep, I, I, I've also heard that. Okay, fine. Uh, is there anything else you can do, guy who appears to be doing everything? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. Thank you. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Uh, thank you. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Cool. Oh, hey. Donald. Who? You, Donald. I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Well, you were looking the so other Donald? way. Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Hmm. That sounds bad. Uh, I think I have a thing for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, bud. More bad news. Your friend's dead. What? And you have his locket? Mm-hmm. And a note? Yes. Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. You're welcome. Um, some bandits killed him. Yes, let's sick everyone on these fucking bandits. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Uh, I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon. Uh, your quest for the... Yeah, tell, tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. You, you've told me before. 
uh, yeah, maybe I could help. I'm the I'm the main character in an RPG. We had to scold Morrigan about this earlier. It's fine. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. You're welcome. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Your fancy dress tells me you're lying. Um, <laughs> are you joking? Uh, no, just tell me who you are. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Hmm. All right, how much do you want? Might I suggest 30 silver? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, you know, revered mother, I am poor. Yep, that's what we're going with. I, heavily armed, uh, dangerous looking person that I am, along with my companions, your friend whose salary you know, uh, the more heavily armed person, and the lady who can't even afford a shirt, are poor. We only have ten silver. One out of one is a more generous gift than ten out of thousands. What can I do for you then? Hey! That's actually true! Uh... Okay, first of all, okay, let's establish that I'm a Grey Warden. Like, we need to we need to get that done first before we talk about the fact that I'm conscripting the Canari. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Yeah, but I was hoping you would just ignore that. Tan Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. Pick one. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Great. Now, if there is nothing else? Well, we have established that I am a Grey Warden, and therefore, you will follow my logic when I say, the dude in the box is coming with me. Uh-oh. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? He's big and strong, and I'm building an army of child murderers, I guess. Um, yeah, let him out. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. No. Uh, he's coming with me. On account of my being a Grey Warden, as we've previously established. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you. Thank you, your reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Now, I don't understand why there was so much drama with this. Like, when I was in trouble, all Duncan had to do is point at me and say, Mine! And Duncan points at someone and says, Mine! And they're his, and that's it. I couldn't just point at Sten and say, Mine! I had to enlist Leliana to sweet talk her? Fine. Whatever. We did it. So listen, big guy who we know has murdered eight people, including some children. How can you help us? Is it by murdering Darkspawn, including Darkspawn children? I have spent my life in the Vanguard. I know war and your lands need all the help they can get. You're not wrong. You're really not. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Mmm. Okay. Uh. What if you don't, though? Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. 
Hmm. Okay. Let's find out uh, where... You, how do you feel about being in this dark gray smoky room for the rest of your life? Because... Listen. I, I don't really... You know, we've been dunking on Alistair a lot. I don't exactly have a, a whistle that summons murderers into the party the way I do for Bork. You, you can't do magic or stabs or boobies the way Leliana or Morrigan can. So there's really no space in the team for you, bud. Oh, bandit groups. Bandit groups? Bandit groups! You're mine! You had it coming! Bandit groups? Bandit groups. Take a drink every time Dragon Age Origins crashes. Bandit groups? Enemies approaching. Bandit groups! Go kill that bandit in particular. Cross me and you Let's make this quick, shall we? All right, you there. Stop hitting me. All of these bandits need to stop hitting me. Let's get started. Oh, you're Alistair. Oh, you're a good guy then. Another battle, I see. Yeah, it's kind of what we do, Morgan. Let's get started. Oh, this should be come now. Defend yourself. Is that all you've got? All right. We killed some bandits. Hooray. Are there more bandits out here? There's a cave. This looks like a cave. Oh. Oh, that looks like a fuckload of spiders. Oh, there's a fuckload of spiders in that cave. There's a... Oh, this is gonna go poorly. Y'all have fun up there. Yeah, that seems bad. Boy, you guys are really, uh... Alistair's getting wrecked. This is fine. Here, kill that one. Now kill this one. Good job, team! Oh, boy. Oh, look, toxin extract. This should be easy enough. I bet we can make toxin with all of this extract. All right, so we've killed some bandits. I don't think we've killed all of the bandits. We were told there were like three groups of bandits. Oh, look, bandits! Starting with their evil dog. You will learn to fear me. Die, evil bandit puppy. You're quite dead. Be dead. It's your time to die. On it. Is that all you've got? That's a lot of blood. Hooray, dead bandits. Kill the archers. Murder them with death. I never liked this part. A little frantic. I can see why. Tis a good day. Okay. This is starting to come together. This whole you know, having a party of full of competent killers thing. I like it. Hi there, guys. You look important. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Buddy, do you really want to... Okay. Okay. Listen, friends. You don't have to do this. You could have chosen not to do this. Could we have talked you down, maybe? Come, you can do better than that. Now we get our hands done. That's an awful lot of dudes who just threw their lives away. Like, an awful lot of dudes. Look, Sten, you're home. 
No, he doesn't seem that happy about it. Then again, he's in the gray void where people who aren't in the party go, so who cares about him? Oh, look. I have made poison. Good job. Uh, Morrigan. Uh, shut up. Don't what me. I want you to make herbalism. Bing, bang, boom. There, good job. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock. You just saw me make the poison in front of you. Yes, I do have poison. Splendid. If those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? <laughs> I should hope. Actually, yeah. I spent 61 silver on the flasks and he gave me 75 silver. So, yes, that was enough exp that was enough to cover my expenses. Thanks. I didn't expect that. I I figured I'd be losing money there. We're going to go find the revered mother, tell her that we have potions because we do actually have potions. Wait, was it the revered mother or the lady over here? Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose, a little tear here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier, better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet. Yes. With gold embroidery. It should be cut low in the front, of course. We don't want to hide your features. Stop looking at my breasts like that. It is most disturbing. You don't think so? And if it's cut low in the front, we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely neck. You are insane. I would sooner let Alistair dress me. It'll be fun, I promise. We'll get some shoes too. <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. I've murdered bandits. Does that make me a peacekeeper? <laughs> As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears. Why are there bears? Okay. Sure. All villagers who open their barns and crops to the refugees. Chantry regularly hears praise from our visitors. There's a lone boy in the village whose mother is missing. Hey, we met him. And she's been missing for the better part of a week. She's presumed dead. Hopefully he doesn't see this. Uh, may the maker... She was in the middle... Yep, yep. Any traveler or resident comes across her in the wilds. Please return her body or the effects on her remains. In later years, the boy will be thankful. Oh, Okay. All right, we can totally do those things, I suppose. Had any luck finding herbs in the woods? I did. I also made potions. Um, you could have warned me about the danger. No, I found stuff. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I like to think so. Quest completed 50 silver. Hooray! Oh, look, a corpse. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, hi, bears. Cross me and you shall pay. Hey, it started. <laughs> You're okay, getting sloppy. Done with you Run now. while you can. <laughs> Just die already. Let's make this quick. Aha, you're dead. Stupid bears. It was not that difficult, but then again, we're Grey Wardens and a mage and a chick we met in a church. That last part is not terribly impressive but it seems like Leliana might have some shit going on spoiler alert Leliana's got some shit going on anyway uh hey dude give me a give me a gold 50 I think let him take notice and shine upon thee for thou hast done his work this day thanks the stars stood still the winds did quiet and all animals of earth and air held their breath 
Yep. All was silent in prayer and thanks. You're welcome. Give me my stuff. Get back, sandals. How that Oh, hi. Guys. Team. Friends, can you help me? Can I get any help from my teammates here, please? Thank you. God. Let's get started. Watch out! Right there. Be careful! Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Uh, you're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Uh, we're heading for is some other place whose name I've forgotten. Your son's name is Sandal? I'm sorry, I know this is a fantasy world and you can name anyone anything. Your son's name is Sandal? Okay. All right, fine. Okay. Uh, listen, we're in some shit, but you can come along if you want. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Well, they seem like nice NPCs who we definitely won't run into again for the rest of the game. Anyway, let's loot these corpses. Let's get started. Oh, 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 that's bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Not good times these were. These were bad times. Why are we remembering bad times? Okay. That's fair. Why am I sleeping in my armor? Bad dreams, huh? Yeah, yeah, not great. Well, it is real, sort of. It, it did see, happen. Part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Okay, so we can hear the Darkspawn talking, and yet we don't know when they're going to jump up on us. Even though you specifically said we can't be ambushed by the Darkspawn. Yeah, okay, fine. Why didn't Duncan mention that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. Yeah. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Well, that's nice. What else should I know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, okay, fine. you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Is anyone else sleeping? All right. Well, listen, we've got a whole bunch of friends here at camp. Some of whom happen to have exclamation points above their heads. So let's talk with everyone. Hi, Liliana. Yes. Well, here I am. Uh, what was life like in the Chantry? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Uh, I have noticed they do tend to be self-righteous. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan. When I talked about my beliefs, 
that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world. They treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Okay, so Liliana is one of those God wants us to be good people people, and the Chantry are one of those God wants me to be in charge of everyone, fuck you stupid poors people. Okay, I can vibe with Leliana's God. Leliana's God is the cool God. Um, yeah, you, you're better than the Chantry. You should be in charge of the Chantry. Gee, if only there was a subplot two games from now wherein we could put you in charge of the Chantry. Nah, that'll never happen. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Leliana approves. Hooray! Hi, Alistair. Do you have any more? What do you need? Ask away. Uh, this is all generic stuff, but actually, yeah, tell me about your, uh, your Uncle Eamon, or whatever. Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me, giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells, a whole pack of them, in fact. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the facts, then fine, fine. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard, and before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. Ah. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Al Eamon wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He mm -hmm. was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Uh, why did he do that then? Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Isle didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. I see. So you've got the whole wicked stepmother thing. Uh, yeah, that sounds, that sounds bad. Um, okay, let's not note that he had it better than others. That's kind of mean. This is just outright mean. Yeah, that sucks, bud. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Arl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there, and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. I think so, yes. This news we've heard about him being sick disturbs me, though. I wonder if we won't discover that Loghain has come to the same conclusion as we have. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. I see. Well, Alistair approves of us talking to him. Let's... All right, bud. Here's the deal. You murdered eight people. Some of them were children. However, you're very big. And, well, we have need of people who are very big. And I suppose... For as long as we have need of people who are very big, we should at least give you a chance to explain the murder of the eight people, some of whom were children. So make with the splainin'. Why are we stopping? Because we have to sleep. It's a campsite. You do sleep, right? Uh, fine. Let's, let's talk. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? We're at camp, bud! You're not... You're not helping. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Okay. I am. You are. Okay. Why are you here? 
The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Interesting. How do you know the world with your... M ma <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that doesn't answer my question, though. No, I didn't. You're not helping. I want it noted for the record that I'm trying. I want it noted for the record that I am trying. Yes. <laughs> there is no problem. We are keeping the darkspawn waiting. Okay. What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. Chatting with you helps me fight the darkspawn. I'm not doing the generic tell me about your people question. As you wish. And that conversation with Sten being a gigantic asshole gets Sten's approval. Okay, fine. All right. You, this just means we're going to have to do it again. You realize that, right? <sighs> you there. You have a... Who the hell are you? Levi, sell me jeans and then tell me why you have a quest over your head. Not in that order. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. No, it's not. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins. Levy the trader. Your name is Jeans. Um. Hi, nice to meet you. Duncan was a prick. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. His pledge that he never told me about, that you swear existed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not exactly trusting you here, Jeans. Um, what did he say? My family... Well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Sounds bad. All right, uh, what happened after that? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run. Hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. Mm -hmm. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. And then? I ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honour. Okay, I've never heard of this place. Where is it? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. That sounds like a sweet deal. Get to the part where it's crawling with Darkspawn or something. I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Crawling with Darkspawn, got it. On it, at least? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, why didn't Duncan do it, though? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak. I'm sure he, he did. never had the chance. I'm sure he did. I'm sure you're broken up about that. I'm sure this isn't one big con. Absolutely not. All right, fine. Uh, we'll go. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Remind me to do that much, much, much later. Much later. Oh, hey there, you ah. two. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. 
I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? That uh, sounds fine. Uh, what have you got? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Wonderful. Uh, I have money. You have health poultices. Let's make friends. Sandal, why do you have a quest marker above your head? Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Oh, I see. Uh, what can you do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. Okay. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment. And there you have it. I see. Okay. Well, I don't have a lot of money, and I also don't have a lot of stuff, but sure. Enchantment. <laughs> Enchantment, you say? Okay. Uh, apparently, I have something called Oathkeeper. That seems good. Uh, it's a main-handed longsword. Great. Awesome. Here. Uh, do we want it to do electricity damage? I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. So, we put that there. And then we hit this button. And now we have a thing. Hooray. Uh, Morgan, did you hear I got a magic uh, awesome lightning sword? Do you care at all about magic awesome lightning swords? What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Yeah, you hear that, Sten? Uh... Why? Okay, yeah, let's ask her why she's still here, even though she just got here. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, but do you want to? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. Okay. Oh. Oh. Listen, I was just trying to be nice and be all... Like, you don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. But uh, now she kind of doesn't want to be here because I accidentally got a bunch of disapproval from Morrigan. Okay, note to self. Don't tell the people who clearly don't want to be here that they don't have to be here. That's probably good life advice, honestly. All right. Uh, onward? No, first we pet the puppy. Hello, puppy. Oh, why, you little... D did Bork bite you? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Oh, Bork, did you bite Alistair? Good boy. Um, yeah, teach that silly out. Okay, Bork. Uh, okay. First of all, Alistair, you're fine. Second of all, Bork, no. Bad dog. Aw. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Good poor puppy. He's a good boy. Yeah, can I pet the puppy? I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Ooh. Alistair, are you scaring my dog? Don't scare my dog. Uh, if you've had it and didn't know it, it, it was probably tasty. <laughs> He's a good smart puppy. He's a good smart puppy. As nice as it would be to get the three major allies on our side, let's actually do what Alistair suggested. Let's go see Arl Eamon and make some friends in Redcliffe. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. <laughs> Let me guess. You're an idiot. No. Uh, what's up, bud? I told you before how Arl Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in. I've heard that. The reason he did that was because, well, 
because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Okay, so you remember when I ranted about how we don't know who the rightful king should be? Turns out... Turns out we do. And it's this guy. This jack wagon. You could have mentioned that, bud. Yeah, you're... You're like the rightful king of Ferelden? Alistair? You could have mentioned that. Eamon knows... Presumably Eamon knows that... Okay. Make his breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Uh -huh. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Important question. Does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. Awesome. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. You never thought to consider that you're the son of the King of Ferelden and that you have a half-brother who is the King of Ferelden and that should anything befall that half-brother, you might possibly become the rightful King of Ferelden. That thought never, ever crossed your mind in the 87 years that you spent fighting alongside Duncan and with your half-brother, the actual King of Ferelden. You stupid fucking bastard! I got to 10 minutes! Actual legitimate question. Why are you telling me now? Because it will probably come up. I didn't want to walk into Redcliffe without you knowing the truth. That would be just awkward. Okay, fair. No illusions about my status, however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner, and now a Grey Warden, and in no way in line for the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Arl Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Caelan's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now, can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Okay. <laughs> as you command, my prince. Actually, he's 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 like the, the rightful king of Ferelden. But anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, let's just taunt him a little bit. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. Yeah, you're going to wind up the king of Ferelden, buddy. Hey, thanks for watching. Here's the stream schedule. If you want to click some buttons, it would help a lot. And if you don't, fine. Go away.